Open jobs are plentiful in South Dakota, but most positions pay well below the national average and lower than neighboring states, leaving thousands of residents struggling just to make ends meet. I'm South Dakota Newswatch reporter Bart Fancook. In the latest report published by Newswatch, we show that the long-held image of South Dakota as a low-pay state is actually true, and we introduce readers to a Sioux Falls woman who works full-time but is barely getting by. According to federal wage data from 2017, South Dakota has the third lowest average wage in the country at less than $41,000 a year, behind only Arkansas and Mississippi. A Newswatch analysis shows that the lowest paying jobs in office support, food service, and sales dominate the state's workforce. Roughly 21% of employed South Dakota residents, about 87,000 people, make under $30,000 a year. 71% or about 290,000 workers make less than 40,000. The data also show that people who don't have technical training or a college degree are at a huge wage disadvantage in South Dakota. Many of those workers do not have health insurance, savings, or any money put away for retirement. They live paycheck to paycheck, and a single medical or financial setback can put them in crisis mode or push them onto government assistance programs. In her first statewide speech, new Republican Governor Kristi Noem advocated for more apprenticeship programs and job skills training in the state education system to improve prospects for workers. Noem also says she supports easing regulation on new businesses and looking for new opportunities in the cybersecurity industry or advanced agricultural processes that pay workers more. In the meantime, however, many educated or skilled young people are leaving the state for better paying jobs elsewhere, and tens of thousands of South Dakota residents remain among the working poor who must take on a second job or apply for government assistance to make ends meet. And it appears there is no quick or easy answer to increasing salaries anytime soon. For much more on this story, please go online to sdnewswatch.org. Thank you.